Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that a fork of PCSX2 has been released by the Ryril, the the Yril. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry, but uh, TRW, anyways, has released it, and um, since it is a fork, we no longer have to worry about the original developer. Uh, trying to break stuff on us and other things <laughs> and uh, it is newer than Aether SX2 so I'll go through the change log and let you guys know at least what's public I don't know what else is fixed but this list should help explain some th all right so we got back ports from a certain popular PS2 emulator to both the game database as well as various changes to the back end. This has resulted in some improvements such as the Spider-Man games now working with the hardware renderer. Don't get too excited, they, they crash after a couple minutes. Lots of changes to the UI elements. The settings page ha has been heavily altered so where most options are located makes more sense. Also also has the directory settings tab where you can set the directories to where wherever you wish made some changes to the control to the control scheme i would recommend viewing the little question mark bubble in the top right of the main menu but basically left bumper and right bumper can be used to jump through game lists the gameless entries. Pressing start on the entry now opens up the game properties menu and the back button exits to the main menu. Fix the looping settings issue caused by two options being named the same. Change the default font used by the app to use to one users should be more familiar with. Altered how most of the on-screen uh, display elements are displayed. The FPS counter is no longer no longer has a G and V. The FPS now just shows the game's internal FPS instead, which always bothered me when I would make videos on it because I no one knows what that means. Altered the language used for things like switching to the software hardware renderer to be not so long-winded. Removed most options located in the game properties menu due to them being non-functional. Changed around the quick menu option placements to be more in line with the with something we're all familiar with. Well, this is what it looks like. I am not currently on my Xbox, but I hope that this is enough to show you guys uh, what at least the new one looks like. It's still very much the same just since it's backported with newer code it's better than aether um and i better get this out of the way now it's not on retail it's only on dev mode right now that doesn't stop anyone from putting it on retail but uh i don't know if a retail version's coming from us so just have to wait and see maybe i'll make another video on it if it does exist but for right now it's only uh dev mode the links are in the description as well as the github page and uh, of course we're talking about it over on our discord if you want to join that um but that's going to be it for this video if you liked it uh hit that subscribe button like the video because it helps and uh leave a comment below tell me what you think about this and what it is going to do to the scene <laughs> over the whole like drama that we had and uh i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace